Hey guys, welcome back. Ah, I haven't done that in a long time. It feels good, it feels so good. And it also feels so good to be out hunting for arcade games again. So I'm out there right now in the Jeep. We're gonna go check out an arcade that I've been eyeing on offer up for a little while. Now I've wanted a Robotron 2084 and unfortunately this is not a Robotron 2084, but it's a good alternative to one. And so I'm gonna go pick it up. And then when we get home, we'll do the garage Kate update. All right, I got it all loaded up in the Jeep. Now let's get out of here. Well guys, I got it and um, it looked really good. And the guy's name was Jeff. He's a super nice guy. As a matter of fact, this is his last arcade he's getting out of the hobby. I felt actually really kind of sad taking his last game, you know, but he seemed like he was at peace with getting out of the hobby and he's getting into new hobbies, but super, super nice guy. And that's one thing I gotta say about the original arcade hobby, collecting, buying, trading, Everyone is just so nice and helpful, and for the majority of the people I've met, they've just been so cool, and Jeff was one of those too, so pretty awesome. Well, we're gonna take this thing home. I got it in the Jeep. It's kind of, it's hanging by a thread, but I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. And then we'll get home and do that garage update. Okay, you are about to witness something so amazing. It's me unloading an arcade yes an arcade machine from a jeep wrangler yeah you can fit an arcade in a jeep wrangler believe it or not i've moved many machines this way now it looks like i'm struggling but you know i've gotten so good at this over the oh that was a little hairy right there i've got so good at this that don't even worry you're probably thinking man he's gonna drop it he's gonna smash it no that's not gonna happen i am a trained professional and i know what i'm doing this is pro level material right here look at it nice clean right there it's on the ground now now I'm just gonna go across the other side, pop this sucker up. There we go. All right, it's time to get it in the house, but first let's get pumped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, yeah! Okay, so now we're all pumped up. Okay, so let's just lean it back right now. No problem. Don't don't worry about that side art. We're gonna get that fixed at some point. But for right now, we're going with patina, baby, patina. Okay, so we roll it up to the threshold of the door. We lean it back. We put it right on that sucker, and then we just give it a little tap. Tap it in. All you gotta do is just tap it in. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Tap it in. And then before you know it, after a couple taps, Tap, tap, tap. The sucker's in the house. And that's it. See how easy that is? It's not even a big deal. We lift it a little bit because we don't want those feet to scratch our tiles in our house. We don't want that. The wife will get angry. We don't, no one wants that. Happy wife, happy life, all right? So now she's in the house. I'm scratching it a little bit, but no worries. Okay, we're in the final stretch. So I'm gonna roll this down the aisle here and place it right in front of Sinistar. Now, it's not an official Robotron, but it's a way to play Robotron, so I'm pretty stoked, and it looks amazing in this lineup right here next to Sinistar. Okay, so I got the arcade in the house, and I'm really excited because this is running the Williams J-Rock multi-board. So why that's so cool is you can play Defender, you can play Stargate, Robotron, Joust, Bubbles, Splat, Blaster, and Sinistar, but Sinistar you really can't because it's a vertically oriented game, as you can see right here. Um, so unless you were to actually physically move the monitor vertically, you can't play it. But this is running FPGA, so it's the best way to experience these games without the original hardware. And you know what? Now I can play Robotron finally uh, the way I, sh you know, it's intended to be played. The only problem is, is that, you know, I would love it to be an original Robotron, but the fact of the matter is pricing for Robotron right now is absolutely crazy. A lot of these Williams games are getting out of control as far as pricing goes, and I just can't, I can't justify spending that much, even though I love the game. So we'll see, maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll own a Robotron, but for right now this is my temporary solution, and uh, I think it's a pretty good one. All right, let's go check out the garage. Okay, so what is going on with GarageCade? Well, the Smash TV is basically almost done, so we'll, we'll um, do an update video on that shortly. The NARC, I'm still waiting on that monitor. I got it, it's in Vegas, but I do, it's still running the LCD, but I have a medium resolution CRT for that. The grid is, you know, still kinda, it's not, it's a work in progress because I need to get the topper, but the system itself is all running. And then War Final Assault, these two are gonna be at uh, ZapCon this coming weekend. So if you happen to be in the Phoenix, Arizona area, you'll be able to play these, but I'm working on a couple things. I'm trying to replace some of the buttons. I got my buddy Cole working on a new print for this because that should look like that. So we'll get that done. I'm gonna put some new T-molding on it just to freshen it up. 
Um, I'm replacing the marquee because it's really crispy and stuff. So I'm gonna replace that one. This one I replaced, but I need to replace the light. So I'm gonna just put an LED in it for the show. Um, well, or maybe if I can find the, if I can find the bulb, I'll, I'll do that. But yeah, so that's what's going on in the garage right now. Man, the grid is loud right now. I must have had that pumped up. Get pumped! Yeah, and then the, the big blue, you guys know, I've done some videos on that. So yeah, so that's kind of the current state. And then, oh yeah, and Killer Instinct. Um, now I'm thinking I'm just gonna replace the CRT with a new one, because the one that's on it just has a lot of burn in. So I might as well just do that. So I might take the 25 from that piece of crap um, pinball or paintball game over there and move it to that. I don't know. So we'll see. But yeah, so that's the current state of the state. I really would love it for people to play these. So if you're in the Arizona area and you can be at ZapCon, you'll be able to play these and I'm gonna have them all nice and ready to go. So um, they're working right now, they're all networked. So we should be good. Yeah, and besides that, I got one other new thing in the garage. So I got this little multi cade thing. I'm gonna do a video on that eventually. It's okay, it's kinda cool, but it's not that cool and I'll, I'll tell you why in a future date. And then the, the Roadrunner actually works, believe it or not, so we'll see. And then that's all just my junk over there. So. Let's go inside and I'll wrap things up. All right, guys, that about wraps up this video. I am super excited because this weekend is ZapCon, April 30th through May 1st at the Mesa Convention Center in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you're in the area, please consider checking it out. They have an awesome lineup of pinball machines and arcade games, as well as vendors and stuff like that. And I'll be there. So if you want to hang out, want to play games together, just chat about arcade games and pinball machines, I would love to do that. So I'd love to meet as many people as possible. So definitely uh, come find me if you end up coming to the conference. All right, well, that's it for this video. Give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy content like this. Put your comments below. And that's it for now, guys. We will see you on the next one.